welcome back to my channel it's Sierra and I'm here with my top 10 easy reach fragrances more often than not I'm in a huge rush and I don't really have a lot of time to think about what fragrance I'm gonna be wearing for the day and that's actually the most important part because I feel like it sets the tone sets the mood it's like the final touch on my outfit kind of like jewelry or makeup so if you're looking for some scents that are crowd pleasing perfect for the anytime any place then just keep on watching also before I get started I did recently just apply to the Sephora squad for 2023 so if you love my content I would really appreciate if you guys voted for me and left a testimonial. I will leave the link down below. But anyways, let's just jump right in. First up is Miss Dior's Absolutely Blooming. This fragrance is a classic. It's so girly. I feel like it can be worn in any season, but it's especially great for the spring. This is a fun and flirty fruity floral with pomegranate, pink pepper, black currant, raspberry, may rose, peony, and white musk. I love a good musky base. This is a very classy, ladylike put together sort of scent and this wears so beautifully in warmer weather some people compare this to like a pink lemonade I can totally see how they get that it is very fruity and like juicy and Dior just makes some of the most iconic perfumes I also really do like the blooming bouquet which is like a fresher sort of rose scent but since I am a gourmand girl if I go floral I'm gonna have to get some fruity in it but the Dior absolutely blooming it reminds me of like wearing a little white linen dress some cute sandals so I'm gonna picnic on a really nice sunny day if you order this from the Dior website you can get it engraved which I think is so cute I should have done that I'm like kicking myself for not I love having my name on everything I own this is a new one in my collection and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this one next is Dulce by Rosie Jane this scent is a masterpiece I think this is what I'm going to wear today and this is supposed to remind you of long kisses and mixtapes it's sort of like a nostalgic cozy comforting scent I wore this perfume spray for the first time the other day and I did get a stamp of approval i also own the body oil which i got a while back from like the sephora best of vanilla set but i do prefer having spray because i like to get my clothes and my hair and everything the notes in this fragrance are vanilla chocolate hinoki wood and musk this smells like a vanilla sweet cream and like milk chocolate it's very just edible delicious it makes me want to just get in a thick blanket watch a hallmark movie and just have like a rainy night in i absolutely love this scent it might be one of my favorite hormones but it's not super heavy which makes it wearable for the everyday it's very like light and fluffy sort of the same vibe as like when you walk into an ice cream shop and you get that cold sweet air that's i think that's the perfect description actually ice cream shop air and then you get oh my god oh my god it's so good you get the sweet creamy milk chocolate there's almost like a whipped cream or marshmallow vibe in here although it's not listed in the notes this is also a clean brand at sephora so if you want to dabble in the clean fragrance section i totally recommend giving dulce by rosie jane a try i don't ever recommend blind buying but i do think that this one is blind buy safe for sure but you can also smell it in store here i have mfk's aqua celestia cologne forte this scent has been in my collection for a little while and since i have so many i haven't really put a huge dent in it this is marketed as a unisex fragrance although i do think it leans a little more feminine it's very sweet if you're into those clean refreshing fruity scents you are going to eat this up when i smell this i think of a melted bomb pop popsicle the notes are bergamot black currant mimosa jasmine and musk once again with that musk gotta love it the jasmine isn't like that old and dollic sort of jasmine it's light it's pretty and it just adds like a nice touch of floral to round out the fruit the black currant is just juicy and so pretty in the opening and this scent gives me lime vibes there's not lime in the notes but i'm getting lime mojito with simple syrup this is what i like to wear when i just get out of the shower and i just want to keep on feeling and smelling clean since it is so bright and refreshing does this give me compliments no not really but it is very pleasant smelling one thing i always consider when i'm picking out a perfume is the compliment factor i don't know what it is but i love to know that other people think i smell good i mean i'm gonna wear it regardless but it's always a plus this one is not very standout because it is a clean scent wear time is also pretty decent too it lasts on my skin for about five hours before it becomes a skin scent but this is one that i feel like i can just grab and go it's inoffensive not headache inducing and it's crisp like just imagine a crisp white tee and some jeans 
jeans and slick back hair. This dress embodies the clean girl vibe. This one's new to my collection and recently I've been getting into Fleur. So here I have Not Your Baby. So everybody knows about Missing Person. I would have included that one, but I feel like it's kind of established that that's a great everyday scent. It's musky, it's soft, it's sweet. Not Your Baby is warm, cozy, comforting on another level. The scent is sweet and it's spicy. This has cardamom, violet, also bergamot, vanilla, tonka bean, and sandalwood. So it's very creamy, soft, like lactonic. Mm. Oh my god. Something about this smells like a warm cup of chai tea. This smells like getting the best hug of your life. The way it smells in the bottle does not smell the same way on my skin. So this is one that I would say you need to test it out first because sometimes the spice can take over depending on how your pH reacts. But on me, this is a creamy, cozy vanilla with a little bit of cardamom. And the violet is also really pretty in here. I don't know if I would say this is a safe wear for the summertime, but for now, this is getting the green light. Next is Ellis Brooklyn. Floris. This is a straight up floral and this reminds me a lot of Replica's Springtime in the Park which I am a big fan of although I don't own it just because the wear time is not giving especially for that price. There's bergamot, lemon, pear, lily of the valley, tuberose, gardenia, honeysuckle, jasmine and broxen virginia cedar and australian sandalwood florist is a soapy white floral and i love it the pear is very soft and sweet and powdery and i'm pretty sure the lily of the valley is what's giving it that soapy vibe but it just reminds me of being in like a really fancy bathroom but like not in a bad way not in like a bathroom freshener way you're gonna smell like you just took a bath with like flower petals and like a really expensive soap that you got from an apothecary and florist is gonna be right up your alley lately whenever i've been like okay just pick one like this has been the one that i have been reaching for ellis brooklyn scents don't really last on me and these are eau de parfums but this one does last and it leaves a really nice scent trail which i love i love when i can walk and like my scent just sort of lingers around behind me but overall this is a beautiful, delicate white floral that doesn't lean too mature. If I pick something floral, it's gonna have like a very young sort of smell to it. Okay, so here I have Dama Bianca. I did just get this a couple of weeks ago and I've been loving it. I wore this on my birthday and it's just such a gorgeous scent. Like you really don't have to think about putting this on. This is a soft powdery vanilla with kumquat, lime, iris, and there's like a malt note. So it gives it sort of like a creamy milkshake vibe. Very similar to Vanilla Woods or Chirosa 40 from Sol de Janeiro, but elevated. This is another musky scent that I cannot get enough of. And I did get some compliments as I've been wearing it, which is a huge plus. And this bottle, stunning. This bottle was gifted to me by Twisted Lily. So if y'all want to get a bottle or get a sample, you can use my code Sierra 10 for some extra money off. To me, this scent is actually not only an easy reach, but it's signature scent worthy for sure. So feminine, so refined, it's silky. This is my only perfume that has a malt note and it's the only time I've ever smelled a malted note and you guys, it's giving. I don't even know what, what a malt is, but it's giving. This is like a modern classic kind of perfume, but it's not old lady. If you like to keep it classy, this is the scent for you. It's very refined, elegant. I was reading reviews on this like a year ago and people were describing it as bridal. And normally when I read bridal, it's like a turn off for me. I'm like, ugh, I can see what people mean when they describe it as a bridal scent just because of how soft and feminine this is. Nama Bianca is like a million little delicate kisses. And because this is such an easy reach, you're gonna get your money's worth out of it. Next is Killian's Princess. And this one's very popular. I feel like I don't have to talk about this one too much because you've probably already smelled it. Keynotes in this scent are matcha, marshmallow, and ginger. There's also like lemon, apple, jasmine. This perfume is like taking a bite out of a green tea mochi. It's so refreshing, sweet, but still light. It's like airy, spun sugar, and then you get a nice little kick of spice from the ginger but it's not overly zingy it's just a little bit of ginger kind of like if you sort of just wafted some fresh ginger in your face i'm going to stop using soft to describe these perfumes because now i'm realizing that my idea of an easy reach is something that's going to be soft so let's just get that out of the way it's marshmallowy light sugary but still complex i feel like if you grew up on pink sugar like i did this is the big girl version of a pink sugar the green tea makes it interesting the ginger adds a little spicy element but then you have that cozy sweet marshmallow you can't go wrong with this it's a gourmand that's also refreshing and i think that's what makes this one special for the cool girls for the androgynous girls julia has a guns ego stratus this is a woman's version of a cologne 
This is a fruity sort of aquatic scent. The notes are bergamot, lemon, mandarin, orange, sea notes, blueberry, neroli, peach, and broxen, musk, and cedar. The standout notes for me are those marine notes and the blueberry, which is so pretty. This scent is almost beachy. It reminds me a lot of like, I can't put my finger on which cologne it is, but it does remind me of a men's cologne. I think it's like Versace something. Versace Eau Fresh, I think. I think that's what it is. This is another one of those fresh out of the shower kind of smell. If you're a big fan of Pear Ink, like I am, then this is also gonna be one that you like because I think they are pretty similar. This one is just a little more of like sea breezy, salty air. The dry down on this is very pretty because more of the peach and the neroli and the more fruity and feminine notes start to come out. I mean, the longest lasting notes have to be those marine notes, but I love when it turns peachy and it's not too much. You're just gonna smell clean. Like you use a really good body wash. Once again, I got this bottle from Twisted Lily. If you wanna see sample it or get your own bottle you can use my code for some money off last but not least escapade gourmand from mesa mataha the dent in here is crazy i was wearing this every day at one point which is unbelievable because i normally wear a different scent every single day if y'all have not smelled this it's so beautiful some people call it basic but it's really the most pure vanilla the notes are vanilla bean black sugar tonka bean benzoin and musk this is such a mouth-watering perfume. I try to use it sparingly because it is sold out all the time. And I got this from Lucky Scent. I'll leave it linked down below. Hopefully they do still have this in stock. This is a gourmand that's not doing too much. It smells like a light custardy vanilla from Brulé Vibe. And it does last all day. It is an extract de parfum, so the perfume oil concentration is a lot heavier than in a regular perfume. And it's always a no-brainer if I want to smell sweet, but I don't want to like pull out the big guns like love don't be shy if you love vanilla as much as i do i totally recommend it at least get a sample from somewhere a sample a decant anything because this is a must-have when i run out i will will be repurchased so you guys that is all for this video i hope that y'all enjoy if you like this video be sure to thumbs up and subscribe thanks so much for watching and i'll see y'all next time bye style.